You are watching Wanda Lucia. Mongolia, a vast landlocked country in East Asia, beckons with its rugged beauty and nomadic heritage. Nestled between Russia to the north and China to the south, Mongolia is renowned for its sweeping steppes, dramatic mountain ranges, and the enduring spirit of its nomadic people. With a history steeped in the conquests of Genghis Khan, and a landscape that ranges from the Gobi Desert's arid expanses to the snow-capped peaks of the Altai Mountains, Mongolia is a land of stark contrasts and timeless traditions. In this video, we will delve deeper into the facets of this unique nation, exploring its unusual culture, tradition, and the resilience of its inhabitants. Mongolia, like many countries, has its fair share of peculiar and sometimes archaic laws. While these laws might not always be strictly enforced, they offer an intriguing glimpse into the country's legal history and cultural norms. Here are a few of the more unusual laws in Mongolia. No whistling at night. Whistling at night is widely discouraged in Mongolia due to deep-seated superstitions. This peculiar law is rooted in the belief that whistling after dark can summon evil spirits or even the souls of the deceased. Mongolian nomadic traditions have a strong emphasis on respect for the spirits and the natural world, and making loud or unusual noises after nightfall is seen as disrespectful and potentially inviting trouble. While it may seem strange to outsiders, this law underscores the enduring influence of traditional beliefs in Mongolian culture. No car horns. After 10 p.m., the ban on car horns after 10 p.m. in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia's capital, is designed to preserve nighttime tranquility. This law acknowledges the need for peace and quiet during sleeping hours, especially in densely populated urban areas. What makes it peculiar is the specificity of the curfew on car horns. It reflects a unique approach to noise pollution mitigation, considering that car horns are typically used for safety and communication. No driving with an unclean vehicle. The law prohibiting driving dirty vehicles aims at maintaining cleanliness and preventing the spread of diseases and pests. Mongolia's vast landscapes can make it challenging to keep vehicles clean, particularly during the dusty seasons. The law serves as a reminder of the importance of cleanliness, but may seem unusual as it directly addresses the condition of vehicles on the road. Public spitting ban. The prohibition on spitting in public spaces reflects Mongolia's efforts to promote hygiene and cleanliness. Given that spitting can be unhygienic and contribute to the spread of diseases, the law seeks to discourage this habit. Its peculiarity lies in the need for a legal framework to address a seemingly common sense issue of public etiquette. No ice cream sales on public transport? Banning the sale of ice cream on public transport is an interesting attempt to maintain cleanliness and prevent messes during the commute. It demonstrates Mongolia's commitment to cleanliness and orderliness, but might appear unusual in the context of regulating what snacks can be sold on transportation. No pets in public transportation. This law is in place to ensure the comfort and safety of passengers. While it aligns with similar regulations in many countries, it might seem unusual to some as it explicitly restricts pets from all forms of public transportation, including buses and trams. No smoking in certain areas. Mongolia has adopted strict anti-smoking laws to protect public health and reduce exposure to secondhand smoke. What makes it peculiar is that the ban encompasses a wide range of public places including government buildings and public transportation, which might be more comprehensive than smoking regulations in some other countries. No selling of fireworks. Mongolia's restrictions on fireworks sales are primarily aimed at safety concerns. Fireworks can be dangerous if mishandled, and limiting their sale to specific holidays and celebrations helps reduce the risk of accidents. While not entirely unique, this law might seem unusual to those accustomed to countries with more permissive fireworks regulations. No whistling at sacred places. Mongolian law prohibits whistling at sacred sites or during religious ceremonies. This law is deeply rooted in the country's spiritual beliefs and respect for religious practices. Whistling is seen as disruptive and disrespectful to the spirits believed to inhabit these places. This peculiar law highlights Mongolia's strong connection to its shamanistic and Buddhist traditions where maintaining spiritual harmony is of utmost importance. No collecting. Lizards. Mongolia has a law prohibiting the collection and sale of lizards. This might seem unusual, but it's rooted in preserving the country's unique biodiversity. Some species of lizards in Mongolia are endangered, 
and this law aims to protect them from over-harvesting and habitat destruction. No photography of the Genghis Khan statue's bum. In Ulaanbaatar, home to a colossal statue of Genghis Khan, it's illegal to take a photograph of the statue from behind. This law is a sign of reverence for the legendary Mongol leader and reflects the cultural importance of showing respect to historical figures, especially one as iconic as Genghis Khan. No handling money with your left hand. Traditional Mongolian etiquette dictates that money should be exchanged and received with the right hand, which is considered cleaner and more respectful. While not a strict legal requirement, this custom is deeply ingrained in Mongolian culture and is followed by many as a matter of tradition. No selling refrigerators on Sundays. In the city of Erdene, it's illegal to sell refrigerators on Sundays. This quirky law is an attempt to encourage residents to rest on Sundays and engage in family activities rather than shopping for appliances. It reflects the importance of work-life balance in Mongolian culture. No wearing camouflage clothing. It's illegal for civilians to wear camouflage clothing in Mongolia. This law is in place to prevent civilians from being mistaken for military personnel, ensuring clarity in times of crisis or conflict. It might seem unusual, but it's a measure to maintain national security. No smoking near government buildings. Smoking is not allowed within a certain distance of government buildings in Mongolia. This law is part of the broader anti-smoking efforts to protect public health and maintain clean air in areas of administrative importance. Mongolia boasts unique traditions and customs, some of which may appear unconventional to outsiders, but hold deep cultural significance. One such tradition is the Mongolian toast, where individuals clasp their elbows and offer greetings with a slight bow, showcasing hospitality and camaraderie. Mongolia's nomadic heritage is reflected in customs like offering milk tea, known as sute tsai, as a gesture of welcome to guests. Another intriguing tradition is Nadam, Mongolia's annual festival, featuring the three manly games of wrestling, horse racing and archery, celebrating skills essential to nomadic life. Furthermore, the practice of using a kadag, a ceremonial silk scarf, to convey respect and blessings is integral to Mongolian culture. These customs reveal the resilience of nomadic traditions in modern Mongolia, offering a fascinating glimpse into a culture deeply connected to its heritage. To conclude, Mongolia is a land of boundless wonder and distinctiveness. Its history, from the era of Genghis Khan's conquests to its modern journey towards democracy, is a testament to resilience and adaptation. While some aspects may seem strange to outsiders, they unveil the enduring spirit of a people shaped by their unique geography and historical legacy. Mongolia's story is one of strength, endurance, and a deep connection to the land. A story that continues to inspire those who venture into its mesmerizing landscapes and embrace its rich heritage.